One of the most frustrating things about Instagram right now is the amount of time it takes to create content. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be honest with you and I'm gonna walk you through some time-saving tips to help you market your business online. Without further ado, let's hop in. If this is your first time here, my name is LaShonda Brown. I am a tech educator, YouTube coach, and speaker based in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. And as a Canva verified expert, I have the longest free trial available for Canva Pro. You can always use my link or share it with a friend, LaShondaBrown.com slash Canva45. In the past, I have utilized Canva graphics to kind of share concepts on my Instagram, try to educate people, but then also try to drive people to offers. I have just noticed that certain types of posts are not converting like they used to. Instagram engagement is down. Surprise, surprise. It's down for everyone. There's kind of this mindset that like, oh, my feed isn't getting the traffic it used to, but these bigger accounts, like they're still killing it. They're not. One of the time-saving hacks that they've done is they've utilized chatbots like Minichat, but they're using these third-party tools to try to like, make their Instagram account more useful. Instagram is transitioning to curated in a completely different way. We remember that phase where everyone was like doing patterns with their posts and it was like, oh, every other post or all the posts in the middle are starting. We're not doing that anymore, but we're curating in the sense that people have content types. They are the lip syncers, the text on the screeners, the vlog b-rollers like we kind of we kind of know when we see a certain style of reel or carousel post who posted it right so you're getting less creativity in the style of content and the creativity is going more into the content right the text now single image posts are still performing but they're not nearly as effective as a carousel post because the way that Instagram works is when you upload multiple images to a single post, which is the little slide carousel, they will continue to promote that post in the feed until your followers engage with it. So you get more leverage out of carousel posts. And then also Instagram wants people to stay on the platform longer. So if it takes a longer time for people to consume your piece of content, then Instagram is going to favor that over a single image where people double tap and leave. I don't talk about scheduling within Canva very much because the options have been limited in the past, but there has been a new app integration that will make your life a lot easier if you're trying to take content that you create in Canva and post it to multiple platforms. This video was sponsored by Loomly. Scheduling content just got easier in Canva with the new Loomly app integration. You can locate Loomly under apps on your dashboard, design your posts, select your calendar, choose your photo settings and export to Loomly. No need to download and re-upload. Once you're inside, it adds your content to your library and you can add everything you need for Instagram. Plus, you can post to multiple channels like Facebook, LinkedIn, and X all at once. Save time, improve quality, and collaborate effectively with Loomly today. To start your free trial, visit www.loomly.com. I really love boots. I'm like, oh, well, the boots are great because that could be like a, an identifiable thing for me without showing my face. Eventually, you'll be like, oh, with some boots, it's Bootstrap Business Advice. That's Lashada. Okay, cool. We get it. I want that to be my thing. I'll show you really quick. If you hit the backslash on your keyboard, that's going to pop up this menu over here, and that's going to be your shortcut to pretty much anything in Canva. So I use that a lot when I'm designing and I'll say rectangle all the time because I forget sometimes what gets cropped off by Instagram. So if you just create a rectangle, drag it from left to right and then position it in the middle and change the transparency, that's gonna kind of give you an idea of what this post is gonna look like when it shows up in your feed on Instagram. The content you see down here underneath the box and above the box is only seen when someone is tapping in the actual post and sliding through. In the grid view, you don't see take my advice or my name or share this or save this. Then the second slide is something that you want to be compelling to make people keep reading. 
So you've got your text here. Again, no face, text. This was interesting. Uh, Jay Klaus is really cool. He has a brand called Creator Science, and he does a lot of marketing experimentation, which I love because I'm a data girly. But he said, my audio podcast has done less than 1.8 million downloads since it launched in March of 2020. My YouTube channel has done 2.7 million views since it launched in July of 2022. So this post that I saw on LinkedIn really helped justify my theory that podcasters need to be taking YouTube more seriously. So if you are creating an educational carousel, like also think about shouting out either stats from a reputable source or just other thought leaders who reinforce the point you're trying to make. So all of this was designed in Canva. And so what has happened in the past is I have done this super janky method of I create it in Canva, then I go and I download it, then I unzip it, then I email it to myself, not even Dropbox. I would email it as an attachment. And then I would open up Instagram. And then the images, for some reason, like they would be downloaded in the email, but not in numeric order. So I had to like look and remember what order to put every. All that being said, there is a better way. You can schedule both photos and video in Loomly. So if you want to create a reel in Canva, you can also push that over as well, add it to your library and pull it from the collection to schedule it. So I really would encourage you because it's gonna save you a lot of time to just set up a free trial, try it for free, see if it's a good fit, and then come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Maybe I'll check out some other resources in the same way. It is my job to find tools that will help you to increase your sales, to generate passive income, and partner with brands so you can work less and live more. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if that resonates with you, if you like the format of this video, then go ahead and like it, tell YouTube this is good, subscribe, and uh, what else should I say? Until next time, ta-ta for now.